RD101 has a novel mechanism of action. It binds to beta taste receptors in the gut and it activates the secretion of intestinal uh, satiety hormone CCK that we know is impaired in Prada Willi. The ongoing phase two trial in Prada Willi already confirmed good safety and importantly provides early signal of reduction in hyperphagia using low doses of the drug. And now enrollment continues to evaluate higher doses. So why target bitter taste receptors? Those receptors are found throughout the body and are highly conserved in evolution because they protect the body from toxins by reducing hunger. And ARD101 is the most potent agonist known. So when you take it orally, it releases the active drug in the gut and then stimulates in the intestine the secretion of several hormones that control hunger, metabolism, and inflammation. Notice that I emphasize hunger. Hunger and appetite have a different mechanisms of control. Appetite is the desire to eat, and mostly GLP-1 is the one peptide hormone that will signal the brain, I, I have less appetite. By contrast, hunger is a painful need to eat. We know that in Prada Willi. And it takes CCK to be secreted in the gut and through a different pathway, signal to the hypothalamus, reduce hunger. Now, it was actually our Dr. Holland and colleagues that 30 years ago told us that the CCK system is impaired in Prada Willi. So it became a very important target, but previous attempts really didn't go forward because you, they used systemic treatment and that flooded the body and caused undesirable side effects such as pancreatitis. By contrast, ARD101 is limited to the gut. It secretes CCK in the gut, so there are no toxicities. And in fact, with no toxicities, we saw reduction in the proof of concept early studies, not only in Prado Willi, but also in two studies in obesity. Now the study is ongoing, uh, and this is a pilot study, open label, I'll tell you more about it. It's open in Colorado, as well as in Stanford in California, led by Dr. McKenless and Dr. Stafford. So let me tell you about the study. It's an open label, single arm, and evaluates ARD101 in young adults with Prada Willi. The first 12 patients enrolled were treated with a low dose of the drug for 28 days. When we saw the results, we were very encouraged and we expanded and now open to enrollment to additional individuals to be treated with higher doses of the drug. And for details about the study, I'd like to refer you to the clinicaltrials.gov or contact the sites. Now, importantly, what is the early promising results? So we saw reduction in hyperphagia and importantly associated with marked reduction in the anxiety and aggressive food seeking behavior. The score of hyperphagia, we just saw what is, might be a meaningful reduction. Here, the average was nearly eight points. And importantly, eight out of 12 individuals had the hyperphagia score drop by at least five points and higher. And four of the individuals experienced nearly complete resolution of all symptoms. And that was independent of genetics. Now, importantly, the drug proved again to have excellent safety profile, which is so important for chronic treatment. Only one patient had skin restricted hypersensitivity treated with Benadryl and there were no other side effects. Based on that, FDA granted the drug, both orphan drug designation as well as rare pediatric designation in Prada Willi. So in summary, the early findings documented excellent safety and early signs of hunger control with marked improvement in anxiety and food seeking behavior 
which is postulated to result from RD101 restoring the CCK mediated hunger control that is impaired in Prado Willi. The ongoing open label trial now enrolling individuals 17 and older, and they will evaluate higher doses of the drug. And the data will guide the design of a placebo controlled randomized larger trial that is now in planning. Ultimately, we hope to take this safe drug, use it for chronic treatment of both children and adults and with Prada Willy. And when we achieve this goal, it will be thanks to all of us. Thank you so much.